So in this video here, we're going to take a look at the auto class from Hawk and Face and also the auto tokenizer. So these are basically the components under the pipeline method that we used in the previous video. So we're creating this whole Hawk and Face playlist where we're covering every single aspect of it step by step so you can learn what Hawk and Face is, how to use it, and we're also going to go through some real world use cases. So let's just jump straight into this Google Colab notebook. First of all, we need to pip install everything. We went over installation and so on, but it's basically just pip installation. And then we're creating videos for each of these individual frameworks. We have transformers, data sets, evaluate and accelerate from Hawk and Phase. First of all here, we have the auto tokenizer and we also have the auto class. So the auto class and auto model, it basically just pulls the pre-trained architecture of the model automatically. So when we want to load an AI model, it doesn't matter what domain we want to use. If you want to do natural language processing, computer vision, audio, and so on, we need the model architecture and we need the weight files as well. So it's basically just an auto class. It's basically just how it's going to retrieve that pre-trained model with the architecture as well, and also the auto tokenizer. So how do we act like get our data, pre-process our data into a correct format that our model can read? Let's say that we have some text. Then how do we act like take that text and convert it into a vector of just numbers that we can then throw into our model. So first of all here, let's just go through an example. So from transformer import auto tokenizer, we specify the model. And again, this is basically just from the Hawk and Face hub where we can pull all these different models. Like they have thousands, like hundreds of thousands of models available that you can just pull directly from pre-trained. So right now we have this bird based multilingual uncased sentiment. So it's going to do sentiment analysis from our auto tokenizer dot from pre -train. We can specify the model name and it's both going to pull the architecture and also the model weight files. And then we have our tokenizer up and running. So it's basically just all the pre-processing information that we need. Once we have our auto tokenizer pre-processing for a model, we can then import our model. So this is what's going on under the hood of our pipeline. If you just want to have it up and running in just a few lines of code, we can just run the pipeline. But if you want to do customizations, control some steps here and there, save a model and so on, specify some different configurations, then we can set it up in this way. So let's just run it now and create our tokenizer. The next thing here is that we're just going to tokenize two sentences. So we're going to use these two. We're going to set padding equal to true. So there's a bunch of different arguments and so on. You can read about that for each tokenizer and also the tokenizer class here. So we're going to use padding. So if we have like a too long sentence or too short sentence, it's basically just going to pad that. So it matches with the input to our model. We have truncation, max length here equal to 512 and return tensor. So we're going to use PyTorch. You can both use all of this with PyTorch. TensorFlow and all of that. I'm mainly going to use PyTorch, but where it makes sense, I will also show you how to do it in TensorFlow. So let's just run this and print our batch. There we go. We can see we have our input IDs and then we also have our token type IDs as well. So this is basically just how we take this text here, convert it into numbers because our AI models, they can only read numbers and then we can feed these numbers into the model and then we can always uh, revert it back again into text or basically just output from our model. So now we can set up this auto model for sequence classification and they have also models for pretty much all different tasks out there that you can come by. So import auto model for our sequence classification from transformer. Again, we specify the same model and now we just pull that model from pre-trained with the model name. So we both have our tokenizer and now also our model. There we go. We're going to have our PyTorch model as well. You can also do it from TensorFlow. You just need to specify it up here. Now it's going to pull this PyTorch underscore model bin. Now we have loaded in our model and we can then take our batch here. So this is our input data that we have tokenized, throw it through the model and then we will get our outputs. After we're done our outputs, it's basically just going to output the logic. So it's just a raw outputs of our model, we need to do a softmax at the end. So this is just a softmax activation function. So it gives us probability of what we're actually like classifying because we're just taking a sequence and then we do classification on that. So we just need a probability at the end Then we can then match to our classes. Right now, we're just going to do that. So we take a softmax and now we can see we get our PyTorch prediction. So we just get a list here with for both of them. So we have five classes in this example here, and we have two input sentences. And here we can see that we have highest probability for the first one here. And the second one is the third index or the second index here, which is 0.22. So there, 
So now we can just go in and take the max value of these list, map that index to our classes, and we can then do classification and convert that into a specific class from our input. Now we can also save a model. So we can both save our tokenizer and a PyTorch model. You can go in and train them here in here as well. You're going to create your own custom model, but that is for another video. So I'm just going to show you how we can save it. I just specify the saves directory, save underscore pre-train, we're good to go. And then we can load it in directly again. So now we have saved it into this PT underscore saved. So let's go inside our directory, PT underscore save underscore pre-train. We have our config file, model save tensors, and all of that. I already mentioned this structure that Hogan Face is using for the model architectures in the previous video. So here we have everything. We have saved the model. It's just save, load, run, and we're pretty much good to go when we're using the hog and face framework and also why it's so popular and it's just going to gain even more popularity over time. So in the last two code snippets here, we can basically see that it both works with PyTorch and also TensorFlow and it's very compatible, works back and forth. So for example, here we can load in pre-trained models. So let's say that we have trained our models with TensorFlow, we've saved it with TensorFlow, then we can load it in as pre-trained into PyTorch. And then we both have our tokenizer and our PyTorch model directly loaded in from the saved TensorFlow model. And we can also do the exact same thing in the other way around. So we just need to specify from TensorFlow, set that equal to true. And if we have PyTorch and want to convert it into TensorFlow, we just specify from underscore PT equal to true. So this is how easy it is to work with. We can swap between the model, TensorFlow, PyTorch, whatever you want to use and feel the most comfortable with. And then we can use Hog and Face to deploy models, run in friends and do all the other things. So thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. I hope you have learned a ton. Definitely go ahead and check it out and also subscribe to our channel. Follow the videos that we have here in the playlist. It's going to have a bunch of videos covering every single aspect of Hawk and Face and how you can use it for real world AI. So this is really useful if you want to do research, test out a bunch of different models, try out different domains. And then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.